John Stonewall was a business manager for a software company. He often worked long hours for his boss he didn't like. John's life was boring, and he didn't really like his job. He wanted something more out of his life. His life had started to become repetitive. The same tasks every day, such as making deals and keeping partners partners. He was very good at his job, but he didn't enjoy it. John never found much in his life that was worth going after. He didn't have much family left, only a distant relative that lived somewhere far away, and most of his friends were his colleagues, and he only saw them at work. John reflected on his life and was dissatisfied with what he saw. He vowed to change it for the better. The next day, he went to Bed Bath & Beyond, as he was short on sheets. As he perused their fine wares, he noticed a woman, an employee, helping a man. She was very beautiful, she was very beautiful and John wished to talk to her. After she finished helping a man decide which towels to pick out, he approached her and began a conversation with her. During this conversation, she introduced herself as Janet. They really hit it off and later agreed to meet again for coffee at a later date. When John got home to his small apartment, he sat down to reflect on the events of his past day. He realized that this is what he needed to get more out of his life. He needed to share the moments he experienced with someone else to extract the full experience. The next day, he went to the local coffee shop to meet Janet. Their date went wonderfully, and John started to feel better. He learned that Janet was getting a promotion to a managerial position at the domestic retail store she worked at. John was very happy for her, as he too felt happy for someone else for the first time in his life. It felt good. The next day, John woke up and tried to call Janet, but she didn't answer. John was very doubtful that she would ever come back, as John was very pessimistic. But he stayed positive and tried to look for her. First he went to the coffee shop where they had their first date, but he couldn't find her there. Then he tried his workplace. Maybe she had come to visit him at work, but he wasn't there. But she wasn't there either. Finally, he checked the local domestic retail store where she worked. He entered the sliding doors to the store and looked for Janet. He couldn't find her in the front and asked the manager if he had seen her. He said that she had been moved to their Canadian branch. John was shocked. How had she gone so quickly? He had just talked to her yesterday. Why hadn't she tried to contact him? He was very confused and tried to call her repeatedly, but to no avail. John was heartbroken. She just left him. For absolutely no reason, she forgot about him entirely. He went through all the possible scenarios in his mind, but none made sense other than she had just forgot about him. That their two days together meant absolutely nothing, and that she saw it as a little more with coffee than coffee with a stranger. John was very sad and angry. He didn't leave his house much, only to do work. Even there, his boss told him his performance was disappointing, and that if he didn't pick up the pace, he would lose his promotion and be demoted. John turned his sadness into hard work and worked harder than he ever had. He worked so hard, he received a promotion to vice president of the company. John looked back and wished to thank Janet for her impact on his life and how he was better off without her. He was very happy to be forgotten.